Subscribers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here for today's video. I want to show how Speedify works on Android. Uh, recording this video in December 2023 because, and I just mentioned that because the user interface changes over time. So I'm just going to go into Speedify and I install this through the, uh, you know, the Google Play Store as, you know, conventional. And uh, if you don't know what Speedify does, this video probably isn't going to interest you, but um, I've done videos just explaining the concept. It's an amazing software. Uh, it looks like a VPN, but it's much more unique than that. It basically allows you to do connection bonding, which means that you take multiple internet connections and use them simultaneously. So for instance, um, I have, I'm currently recording this video at home. So I have my home internet connection here called Bezek, and I have my uh, uh, cellular connection, which is really supposed to be 5G, but I actually only get 4G. And that's labeled as Golan T. That's my data SIM card. So we have one home Wi-Fi network, one cellular network. And all you have to do is connect to Speedify. And the first time you do this, you'll be asked if you're okay with connecting a VPN because from the Android perspective, it is a VPN. It is sort of a VPN, uh, but it basically sends traffic. You have to send traffic to a server on the WAN side in order to be able to uh, use uh, connection bonding. So that's that's what the product called Speedify does. And you can see I'm now connected. So for the most part, it's pulling data in through my home Wi-Fi network, which is called Bezek. And you can see now and again, little blips of connectivity coming through Golan Telecom and just verifying that it's online. Um, and that is basically what you have to do. What this will do will give you a very, very solid internet connection. Anytime your home internet's down, it'll pull in little bits of data from packets from the home network. Um, and you'll also be able to see, uh, you can go in to get data about uh, connection losses. So if you go to my statistics, you can get your top upload and download speed. And uh, even though I've barely used this on my phone, I've already had six seamless failovers. What that means is that my home internet has dropped out six times and it's immediately seamlessly picked it back up um, through uh, boosting that with my home Wi-Fi network. And uh, you can tinker with your connections um, and change the priority. It's generally recommended leaving them as automatic, uh, but if you want to just use it for secondary, so I can set my mobile to just be a secondary connection and I can set my home internet to be uh, the primary connection. I'll do that in a bit. And uh, that's basically it. Your internet works just as you'd expect it to. I can go into YouTube um, and watch basically whatever. I'm just going to Pick a video. Ah, slot videos are always good. Um, and I'm just going to stream this for a few seconds and you can see it's streaming uh, perfectly fine. So that is uh, Speedify on Android works amazingly well. And I'm using my main Speedify account, uh, the same one that I'm using for my desktop. The only issue I've run into using Speedify is occasionally specific servers don't play nice with YouTube. Um, in specifically when you're uh, going into YouTube Studio if you're a content creator. So what the Speedify team recommended me to do is you go into server selection. By default, you're on fastest, but uh, you can also specify a manual server. So they told me some servers are premium servers um, in my location, Tel Aviv, Israel, um, and you can just move over to one of those. That's it, guys. Very useful software. Hope this helped anyone using it. Thanks for watching.